Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Physics Web. Today we will discuss a fundamental concept in vector calculus, the gradient of a scalar field. We will discuss three important problems related to the gradient of a scalar field. You will find the application of this problem directly or indirectly in every exam. So you will solve this problem in details and try to remember the results if possible. Let's get started. Before we solve the problems, let's quickly recap what the gradient of a scalar field is. Okay. So, first a scalar field is a function that assigns a scalar value to every point in space. For example, temperature distribution in a room. So, you can take the temperature uh, at all points in a room at a particular time is an example of scalar field. Okay. So, next you can take your equipotential surface. Equipotential surface in electrostatic. Equipotential surface. That is also an example of scalar field. Okay, so if you see the gradient is a vector and as we know vector has both magnitude and direction. So, the gradient of a scalar function points in the direction of the greatest rate of increase of the scalar field and its magnitude is the rate of increase in that direction. So, if you take the example of the temperature distribution in a room, so the direction here will point in the direction of greatest temperature increase. And its magnitude represents the magnitude of that increase. Okay. So, mathematically, if a scalar function phi equals to c is given to us, then mathematically we can express the gradient of that scalar function phi will be i cap del y del x plus j cap del y del y plus k cap del y del z phi. And there is one more important concept you should remember that gradient of a scalar function phi points in the normal direction to the scalar function or the gradient of a scalar function is always perpendicular to that scalar field. Okay. In a separate video, we will discuss why this is perpendicular to the level surface or the scalar field. Okay. So, let us solve the first problem that is gradient of ln r equals to r vector by r square. Okay. So, we have to find the expression of gradient of ln r okay so you will solve this problem in cartesian coordinate okay so to solve these problems first we have to express this gradient in cartesian coordinate so let us write the gradient in cartesian coordinate system that is i cap del y del x plus j cap del y del y plus k cap del y del z okay here you can also remember the general form of gradient so that you can express this gradient in any coordinate system and that is e1 kf by h1 del y del q1 plus e2 kf by s2 del y del q2 plus e3 kf by s3 del y del q3. Okay. So, you should remember e1, e2, e3 kf and h1, h2, s3, q1, q2, q3 kf. Okay. So, let me write here e1 kf, e2 kf, e3 kf. H1, S2, S3, Q1, Q2, Q3. For Cartesian coordinate system, this is I kf, J kf, K kf, H1, S2, S3, 1, 1, 1, X, Y, Z. For spherical polar, this is R kf, theta kf, I kf, H1, 1, S2, R, S3, R sin theta, Q1, Q2, Q3. That is R theta I. For cylindrical, okay. For cylindrical, this is rho kf, phi kf, z kf, 1 rho 1, then rho phi z. So, try to remember this. Next. Now, we have to express this scalar function. Okay. So, the given scalar function here is ln r. So, we know position vector r is given by x i kf plus y j k f plus z k k f. So, the magnitude of r will be square root under x square plus y square plus z square. Plus. We can write this as x square plus y square plus z square to the power half. Okay. So, now phi equals to ln x square plus y square plus z square to the power half. Now, using the property of power property of logarithm logarithm that, that is ln x to the power a equals to a ln x. So, you can write this as half ln x square plus y square plus z square. 
okay so now we have phi and grad so now grad phi that is grad ln r equals to gradient of half ln x square plus y square plus z square half is constant so we can take com out of this derivative that is grad ln x square plus y square plus z square now we can write this as expression of grad that is i kf del y del x ln x square plus y square plus z square plus j kf del y del y x square plus y square plus z square plus k kf del y del z ln x square plus y square plus z square okay so we will solve the derivative for one coordinate x and we, similarly you can write for the other two okay so so let us find the derivative of the first term that is del y del x ln x square plus y square plus z square so this is equals to 1 by x square plus y square plus z square then the derivative of x square that that will give you 2x okay so this is 2x by x square plus y square plus z square similarly for y del y del y ln x square plus y square plus z square will give you 2y 2y by x square plus y square plus z square and for del y del z ln x square plus y square plus z square will give you 2z divided by x square plus y square plus z square so now gradient of ln r equals to half i kf 2x by x square plus y square plus z square plus j kf 2y divided by x square plus y square plus z square plus k kf 2z divided by x square plus y square plus z square okay so here 2 can be taken common and taken out of this expression so 2 2 will cancel out now i kf x plus j kf y plus k kf z divided by x square plus y square plus z square and this expression is nothing but your position vector that is r vector and this is square of the magnitude okay so or you can simply write this is r vector by r square so gradient of ln r equals to r vector by r square next second problem gradient of 1 by r equals to minus r vector by r cube okay so similarly here we have to find the expression of gradient of 1 by r we know the expression of gradient in cartesian coordinate so we will write the expression for this color that is 1 by r okay so given color here is 1 by r we know the position vector r is x i k f plus y j k f plus z k k f so here the magnitude of r that is r or this equals to x square plus y square plus z square to the power half so 1 by r will be 1 by x square plus y square plus z square to the power half now gradient of 1 by r equals to i kf del y del x 1 by x square plus y square plus z square to the power half similarly plus j kf del y del y 1 by x square plus y square plus z square to the power half plus k kf del y del z 1 by x square plus y square plus z square to the power half now similarly we will solve the first term and we can write the result in the similar way for y and z okay so let us calculate this del y del x 1 by x square plus y square plus z square to the power half so this will be del y del x x square plus y square plus z square to the power minus half and from derivative we know d phi dx x to the power n equals to n times x to the power n minus 1 so here our n is minus half so it will be minus half x square plus y square plus z square minus half minus 1 that is minus 3 by 2 
then the derivative of x square that is 2x so 2 2 will cancel out so this is equals to minus x divided by x square plus y square plus z square 3 by 2 so for similarly for a del by del y it will be minus minus y x square plus y square plus z square 3 by 2 and for del y del z 1 by x square plus y square plus z square to the power half will be minus z x square plus y square plus z square to the power 3 by 2. Okay. So, gradient of 1 by r equals to i cap minus x divided by x square plus y square plus z square 3 by 2 plus j cap minus y x square plus y square plus z square 3 by 2 plus k k f minus z divided by x square plus y square plus z square to the power 3 by 2. Now, minus common. So, x i k f plus y j k f plus z k k f divided by this expression x square plus y square plus z square to the power 3 by 2. So, this is your position vector r and x square plus y square plus z square to the power half is your r magnitude of r to the power cube. So, this is r cube. Okay. So, gradient of 1 by r equals to minus r vector by r cube. Next, last problem. Gradient of r to the power n equals to n r to the power n minus 2 r vector. Okay. So, here we have to find the expression of gradient of r to the power n. And we know the expression of gradient in Cartesian coordinate system. So, we will write the expression of the given scalar function that is r to the power n. So, here phi equals to r to the power n. Here r is your position vector x i k f plus y j k f plus z k k f. Now, magnitude of r that is x square plus y square plus z square to the power half. So, r to the power n equals to x square plus y square plus z square n by Okay, now gradient of r to the power n equals to i k f del y del x plus j k f del y del y plus k k f del y del z x square plus y square plus z square to the power n by 2. So, like the previous two problems, we will calculate the derivative for the first term that is with respect to x and similarly we can write for the other two terms with respect to y and j okay so let us calculate this del y del x x square plus y square plus z square to the power n by okay so here it will be n by 2 x square plus y square plus z square n by 2 minus 1 and then derivative of x square that is 2x so 2 2 will cancel out now this is n x x square plus y square plus z square n by 2 minus 1 okay so Similarly, with respect to y, it will be ny x square plus y square plus z square to the power n by 2 minus 1. And for z, it will be nz x square plus y square plus z square to the power n by 2 minus 1. So, gradient of 1 by r equals to, I can see, n is common, so we can take common, I can x. This is also same for all three terms, so we can take this common. So, y j k f plus z k k f x square plus y square plus z square to the power n by 2 minus 1. Okay. So, n times this is your position vector r vector. Now, this is x square plus y square plus z square. This is square of the magnitude that is r square n by 2 minus 1. Now, this multiply this. This will give you n r vector 2 to cancel out. So, n minus 2 r to the power n minus 2. So, gradient of 1 by r equals to n times r to the power n minus 2 into vector r. So, this is your result. Here also you, you should remember if you write in terms of the unit vector of position vector that is gradient of sorry this is gradient of r to the power n. Okay. So, this is gradient of r to the power n gradient of r to the power n gradient of r to the power n 
r to the power n in terms of unit vector n r to the power n minus 1 r to the power n minus 1 i am writing a k f okay so a k f is the unit vector of position vector r okay so be careful uh, in exam whether it is position vector r or the unit vector of position vector r okay so this is n r to the power n minus 1 a k f so we have solved the most important problems involving the gradient of a scalar field. Remember the gradient points in the direction of the greatest increase and its magnitude tells you the rate of that increase. And if you can try to remember these results, they will certainly come in handy in your exams and studies. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and consider subscribing to our channel. And hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload our new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.